Oh, oh God, uh, man, what? Is this your shortest fight ever? In any time, amateur, professional ever? Assalamu alaikum, Ida. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, Lennox Lewis, Lennox, I'm coming for you. I didn't have this in seven or eight seconds. For this fight. I only trained probably two weeks or three weeks for this fight. I had to bury my best friend. And I dedicated this fight. I wasn't going to fight. I dedicated this fight to him. I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's the never fight. been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their claw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Are you saying now, Mike, that Mike? People say, well, his style's gonna make him difficult. This style, no, it's not the style that matters. It's the morale behind the style that matter. It's the intention and the fierceness and the malice and the, the contempt to hurt in this particular sport. I like tough guys. All the time in prison, I always ran these guys, they were tough. When they were then, they ain't tough. When they get confronted, they ain't tough. When I bring that pain to them, they ain't tough. I put that heat on him, and he didn't want to continue. I was hearing all this stuff. He's a tough guy. He's not going to lay down. He's not like anybody else. Exactly. He's going to come to fight. He's a good boxer. And he didn't. Listen, to fight me alone, I don't care what anybody, whatever you say about me, good or bad, you got to have heart to even get in the ring with me. Y'all guys know what I do. Y'all know what I do. I put people in body bags when I'm right. So we know what's going to happen. From started around, I seen them all. He was too emotional. When I watched him, when he, when he came in the ring, the first time I stepped in the ring, I looked at his face, and I saw he was too emotional. I said, there's no way he's going to win. I was telling my trainer, I said, he's going to lose tonight. I walk around the ring, but I never, I never take my eyes off my opponent. I keep my eyes on him, even if he's ready and pumped, and he can't wait to get his hands on me as well. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. Then once I see a chink in his armor, boom, and one of his eyes may move, and then I know I have him. He still looks at me with his piercing look, and as if he's not afraid, but he already made that mistake when he, when he looked down for that one-tenth of a second. I'm just looking forward to um, expressing a lot of pain. I don't know what anyone feels. My objective is to make my opponent feel my punches. Done. Can I tell you something? After the third round, since you made that statement, after the third round, I saw, I said, oh God, dude, he's not that bad. He's tough and he could punch and all that, but I know he's never been in there with a fighter like me. Plug early, you gotta put this guy on ice early, and are you prepared to go 10? Well, I'm prepared to go 10, but I don't think he can handle what I throw at him. I'm not Michael Moore. So Mike, what's the prediction? Huh? Watch me fight. Devastation. They put charged into me, and no one warned him, no one gave, took any points for him. What am I to do? This is my career. I can't continue getting buddy like that. I got children to raise, and this guy keeps butting me, trying to cut me and get me stopped on cut. I got to retaliate. I don't believe that at all, because you know why? Because after, cause after I, I kick Stuart ass and give him a slow beating, nearly death, I'm going to take whoever's the win after that, the Holyfield Douglas fight. I have to say, this is my best fight because at the moment, my emotion was so intense. I was so intense, and I... I was being professional, I'm not saying I'm looking to hurt, but I, I was also blood. But I think this is our time now. You're gonna get Kevin killed. You better stop. You better stop. Um, the first fight, listen. Holyfield is not the tough warrior everyone says he is. He got little nicks on him there and he quit. I got an eye. I got one eye. I got one eye. He's not impaired. He got ears. I got one eye. Big deal. If he take one, I got another one. I'm ready to fight. He didn't want to fight. I'm ready to fight him right now. When you see me take care of this guy, what's his name again? On December 8th, Mr. Stewart? Then you find out. Oh, he's been talking a lot. He's been talking a lot. He's been talking a lot. He's gonna be slow, slow night for him. Regardless of what I did, he bit butt me for two fights. But you gotta address it, Mike. Why I did, did you address no, I did address it. I addressed it in the ring. Can nobody put a fear in my heart? No human being. And that's just why I'm, I'm no badass, and I can't beat the whole world, but no one's gonna walk over me. This happens, I'm just ready to fight. I don't, know. You think I, um, I don't think about, think about anything intimidating. I intimidate them by hitting them. I don't intimidate them by staring them in the eye. I fear no man, no mortal, nobody but God, so we can do it again. I would love it. I never came in the ring trying to intimidate anybody. I just came in and presented myself. And whatever happened, if that happened, they choose to be intimidated, cool. Regardless of what happens, they're gonna get hit eventually. 
I didn't challenge me with their somewhat prim primitive skills. They're just as good as dead. Yeah. I want to fight, fight, fight and instruct the world because I'm the best fighter in the world. Anybody that gets in the ring with Mike Tyson and is not afraid of him and says that he's not, then he's a moron because everybody should be afraid of Mike Tyson, which is fact.